Well, in the last video, we looked at creating a new database, which you can see here, I've named it Secret Opening Preparation or Secret Opening Prep. Uh, never been accused of being melodramatic with my uh, database names, obviously. But uh, now we're going to look at adding games to that database and the few different ways that you can actually do that. You can see at the moment, if you click on it, um, it's Secret Opening Prep has zero games in it. And if you double click, no games in this list, Secret Opening Prep. So there's no games at all in there at the moment. How do we get a game in there? Well, there's a few different ways. If we select the database and go to the application menu and then go to um, New Board in Database, that opens a board where we can enter moves, enter a new game. You can also do that by opening the database and clicking the board button here. Either way, you get the same result. And here's where you can just enter a game. You can do it by hand. Um, so let's do that now. Let's just enter a few moves. So okay, so we've got a few moves of our game. Obviously, this isn't very far, but just for the purposes, imagine this is a full game. We've just entered it in. It might be say something you've played at a local club or even anything that you've just seen on the internet. Anything at all. Uh, you've watched it on TV. You've watched it on the internet, or you've uh, you played this in the club. You've got it written down on a piece of paper, and you're just entering it by hand. Well, now you've uh, now you've done that. You just go to save, and that'll show you it's now saving the game to the secret opening prep database. If you didn't open the board in that database, let me just cancel out of that. You will need to go to same game, save game as, and select that database. But because we opened the board in that database already, we didn't need to do that. To, but if you wanted to save this to a different database, you could do that now. Enter a bit of the information. This is what happens when you save a game. You get to enter some of the information. So let's have a quick look at this before we uh, show some other ways of entering games. Um, this is the box for the player of the white pieces and the player of the black pieces. It's a bit like a phone directory, so it's last name first. So if this was me playing white, I put my name in like this. Um, I'm being hilarious. A and other is black. The tournament. Can't spell. No, I really can't spell. Um, and you can enter the different ECO codes if you know the ECO code of that opening. You can see that it's actually been automatically entered here by Chessbase. Ratings of the white player of the white pieces and the player of the black pieces. If it was a round or a sub round, you can add the result: win for white, draw, win for black. If the game never finished, you can evaluate it here: better for white, equal position, better for black. Um, if it's zero zero, if the game wasn't finished, somehow it's defaulted, or even if it's um, just added as a buy. When they're making cross tables, sometimes they enter an empty game into a, a tournament. For the purpose of creating the cross table, so you might see a few games with zero zero, or you can enter any of the other informant style symbols here. So obviously that was a win for me. You can enter the date. You can enter a few more details about the tournament as well, which you can do here. We'll have a look in more detail at that later, and any details about who the annotator is just there. And so clicking OK, that's now saved the game with those header details. That's saved into that database. We'll close out of it. You can see in the database window, Secret Opening Prep, there's now one game. One game, N. Murphy against A. Another. And let's think about getting some more games in there. How can we do that? Well, let's take um, one of my other databases at random. We want to copy the games from this database, the Twic database. We've got 1,500 games in here, but it could be a database of one game. Could be a database of uh, a million games. It's just it's entirely depends on how many you want to put in. And this is really good for for copying files from one database to another. It's really really simple in Chessbase, and I'll show you how to do that in the secret opening uh, with secret opening prep. So we've got one game in there. Let's say we had another database. Well, we do actually. We've got a database. There we go of Smith Mora games. So if we wanted to copy all those games, the Smith Morrow games, into the secret opening prep database, all you need to do is left click on the on the database you want to copy from. This used to be a much more um, complicated system, but it's really easy now. So left click, hold the left mouse button down, and then drag that database 
to the database you want to. I'm all the time you're holding that left mouse button down. Don't let go of the left left mouse button. Hold it so it's over the database you want to copy the games into. Let go of the left mouse button. And there you go. You get this uh, copy games window has popped up. You can specify which games you want to copy. There's 2,150 games. Maybe you only want to copy uh, a certain number of those. Don't worry too much about these things here. Uh, we don't need to update the reference booster. If you're copying to the mega database, you can do that. Uh, always import annotations. It's useful if you're copying an annotated database. And if there's any multimedia files, you can have that box checked there. But there isn't any. So we're just going to copy those over. Hit OK. And you can see Chessbase just in just a few seconds copied all those over. And uh, there's now 2,151 games in secret opening prep. Obviously this is pretty meaningless because the first game I did was in a kind of Spanish opening. And the rest of the games I've put in there as a Mora. But um, yeah, so don't pay attention too much to my <laughs> opening preparation. Uh, if you've ever played against me, you'll know that that's not really something I focus on. Is an opening preparation, but um, for the purposes of this video and how to copy games into a database, that's really what it is. So we created that first game by hand, and then we copied over a database of 21, uh, 2150 games. So now we have 2151 games in there. So you see just how easy it is to to add games to a database. You've, so we've created the database, and now we've added games to it. It's really simple and easy in Chessbase.